All right, welcome back. And in the last video, we added the ability to comment or reply to a tweet. So you see here, we click on this and we can add our reply. Um, okay, so now we've done that, but we're not actually displaying these replies anywhere. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna be able to uh, click on a tweet here and then we'll go to a single tweet and it will have the tweet in, uh, in the header here. Um, and then we will also have the replies uh, below it. So let's uh, go ahead and add that. All right, so the first thing we wanna do here is come into our back end actually, and we forgot to add one thing here. So in our comments.ts, come up here, and we wanna come below here, and we're gonna add a t.model.user. Okay, and go ahead and save that. And that is all we're gonna do for our back end today. All right, next we wanna come into our front end into our web folder here, and we wanna go into our app.tsx uh, uh, right here. And we wanna uh, do a actual tweet route to a single tweet. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna stay inside our uh, is authenticated here. Uh, so let's copy this route down. And we are gonna say here, we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna go slash tweet, and then we're gonna go slash ID, uh, sorry, colon ID. Now this colon ID here that you see is gonna direct to a specific tweet, and we can pass that in um, when we're redirecting. So we're gonna do that, and then down here, we're gonna want to actually pass in our single tweet, but we haven't actually created that yet, so let's actually do that first. All right, so come over to our pages here and we're gonna get a new file here and we're just gonna call this single tweet.tsx. Okay, that's looking good. And then we're gonna wanna copy over our home here. So go and copy everything in your home uh, file here because um, they're gonna be quite similar to this. And then we'll paste this in here. Uh, and we wanna change over this uh, single tweet and the same down here, single tweet. Okay. Okay, so you can go ahead and save that. And now we can use that in here. So let's actually go here and we'll import this as single uh, tweet here and we can auto import that. Okay, so that's looking good. And that's all we need to do in our app.tsx. All right, so now we actually wanna come in to our all tweets here, because we wanna have a link that's gonna link us to the actual tweet that we want. So come up uh, above into our tweet container here, right above here, and we're just gonna add a link here. And bring that in and that's gonna be two, and we're gonna go back ticks, and we are gonna go say slash tweet, and then we're gonna go slash dollar sign, and we're gonna go say tweet.id, so we're actually gonna pass the ID in here. And that should be good, and then we'll close this off, and then we wanna bring this, so this wants to be able to wrap everything up until our content like this, so right under our tweet.content. So go ahead and save that. And uh, let's take a look real quick. Okay, so we come over here, we can, uh, so take a look actually um, at our uh, nav bar here, um, our address bar. And when we click on a tweet like this, we can see that we're getting the actual tweet and the number. Now right now we're just passing in the same home components, uh, so it won't look any different, but uh, we are gonna take this number and use that to fetch the individual tweet that we want. So let's go ahead and uh, start that process. All right, so let's start up at the top here, and we are gonna start by changing this to say uh, tweet underscore query. Okay, and then this is gonna say tweet down here. Okay, and then we wanna get a specific tweet, so we actually wanna pass in a couple things. So we wanna say dollar sign ID, and we're gonna say that is an int. Okay, and then we wanna come down below, and this is also gonna be tweet. And then we wanna pass in again the ID and the dollar sign ID. 
and that's kind of like the mutations. I don't think we've actually done a specific query, but this is, uh, you can pass in our variables just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go through and add the rest of the uh, query fields here, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, so this is what our query is gonna look like here, uh, a little bit longer than normal, but uh, basically we're gonna get a tweet and then uh, just get all these other fields from it. So a profile and avatar, kind of the typical stuff. And then we wanna get the comments, which is all the replies, and then the user that sent that comment, and then their profile and their avatar. Uh, so nothing too crazy there, but uh, yeah, that should be good. All right, so then we wanna come down here and we wanna actually add an interface here. So give ourselves a little room here. So we're gonna go interface, and then we're gonna call this param uh, type. And this is going to be um, from our use history um, and we're going to be able to get the params and that's how we're going to actually get the specific tweet from the address bar basically we're going to pull from there um, so this is just going to be an id and it's actually a string type um, which we're going to have to convert to a number after okay so that's good uh, use history can stay the same and then we want to get the param type we'll do right below this so let's go const and we can pull it out. Uh, we can pull the ID out here. And then we're going to go equals use params. And we're going to import that from React Rudder DOM there, as you see. And then we're just going to pass in our param type. And then uh, call it right there. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, space this up a tiny bit for you. Then here we want to pass in our query here. So that's the tweet query. Like that. And then we're going to pass in our variables here. So it's almost like uh, we do in our mutations. And we'll go variables. Okay. And then we'll pass in the ID. Now we want to uh, convert our string ID because it's going to be a string into an int because that's the type that we need for this. So we're going to say parse int. Okay, and then we'll pass in the ID just like that. Okay, that is looking pretty good. And we come down, our left side is going to be the same. So we can leave this just like that. Uh, our home, we can, our home header is going to be the same. Um, we are gonna below our home header here above our title we are gonna use the same kind of go back button that we do on our profile uh, so you can copy that over from profile or uh, I'm just gonna paste it in here so I got it there so basically this is just a back button uh, using the go back method from uh, history okay so that is good there uh, this home we want to call that a uh, tweet so that's good. And then we can get rid of the homepage tweet and the all tweets. So get rid of this here. And then under here, we're actually going to add something very similar to what we used in the create comment in the last video. So come over to the create comment and we can just copy this over. So come down a little bit here. Uh, and from this p tag up to this div here, right below the header, copy that over. And then we're going to come over and we're going to paste this in here. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. We're going to want to change over some of these values. So let's go through it and do that. So here, this is going to be changed to data dot tweet dot author dot profile dot avatar. Okay, so that's good. Instead of name right here. We're gonna have data.tweet.author.name. And that should be good now. Okay, and all these styles are gonna stay the same. And then this tweet down here, we're gonna say data.tweet.content. Okay, so that all looks pretty good to me. Okay, and then I think basically the last thing we wanna do is we wanna map over all our comments and add them uh, below. So let's go ahead and do that and then uh, I'll come back and talk you through it. All 
All right, so basically what we're doing here is we are just gonna map through all the different comments. I've added a comment type here for uh, TypeScript, and that's gonna look like this up here. Let me show you here. So that right there. Um, and basically it's just kind of the same structure as our GraphQL query uh, for our comment. So add that, and then we are gonna add some uh, styling and stuff here. This is just our image, kind of the same styling as we're using for uh, all our avatars. And then we're just gonna add our username, uh, and then we are gonna add the content of the comment. So basically whatever the comment is below. So go ahead and save that, and come back over to our app here, and we can see we're on tweet five right now, and this is what it looks like. So this is the actual tweet, and we see it's connected to this, and this is the uh, response or the reply to that. And uh, those would be uh, kind of, and those have been mapped over, so there'll be a list of them below if there are more than that. Uh, if we go back here, um, we can look at this one. We can add a, uh, add a reply here. Okay, this isn't automatic updating. Okay, so we add a reply. It's not automatically updating, so we might have to fix that, but let's click on this, and we can see the test reply shows up there. All right, so that's looking fine. This is off a little bit, but we can fix that another time. Uh, but that is good for uh, now, and that works, right? Yeah, we can click back. So that's looking pretty good. All right, so that'll be it for now. Uh, in the next video, I think we're gonna add uh, replies to replies. So basically nested replies. Um, so that'll be an interesting one. And then finally, I think after that, that's almost everything we're gonna do, except for the final thing, I think we'll be uh, following uh, different users. So that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one.